Today I'll go over how to populate all the fields for a particular task in TickTick. -tick. I'll go over things like assigning a due date, giving a task a priority, and assigning a tag to a task, among other things. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. Okay, so to get started today, we're going to look at a task that's already in our inbox. So we have a task called task one. And if I look over to the right side, that's the details of the task. Right now, there's not a lot of information over there. And so our job today is to kind of populate that information, everything that we know about the task. And that's kind of a way to process the task. So we have a task in our inbox, but let's process it and add any, any information that we know about the task. So to start with, I'm gonna expand the right side since that's where we're gonna be focusing today. And let's begin with the date and reminder. So let's say that this task has a due date. Tick Tick gives us a couple different options to assign a due date. The first option it gives us is these icons up at the top. So we can set it for today. We can set it due for tomorrow, next week, or even next month, just by clicking one of those icons. Now, if one of those doesn't suit our needs, we can also choose a specific day from the calendar down here. I'm going to choose next Friday, October 29th. Now, let's say that this task has a specific time that it's due at. If that's the case, we can hit the time button and we can choose a specific time that it's due. So let's say that it's due at 1030 in the morning next Friday. Okay. But if it's due next Friday at 10.30 in the morning, we probably need to be reminded of it ahead of time. That's where the reminder button comes in. So we can choose to be reminded five minutes ahead of time. So maybe 10.25, maybe that's enough time to get the task done. Or maybe one day early. So I want to be reminded a day early. So remind me on Thursday to get my task done for Friday. The other thing you can do from this screen is you can hit the repeat button and you can choose to have this task repeat daily, weekly, monthly. So let's say it's we have a task that's due every Friday at 10.30 in the morning. We can just set this to weekly and hit the OK button. Okay, so now we've set the due date. The next thing I wanna look at is setting a priority. So over towards the right at the top is a little gray flag and that's the priority button. If we click on that, TickTick -tick gives us a couple different options. So right now, the gray flag means none. It has no priority. We can choose to give it a low priority, a medium priority, or a high priority. Now these are personal preference. Um, there's nothing specifically uh, that changes about the functionality of the task. It's just that they're flagged a little differently. So you can see the red flag or the blue flag depending on which priority you set. So I'm gonna say this is a medium priority task. One other thing that doesn't stand out, in my opinion, is the ability to set the progress of a task. So up here, underneath the date, is a little bar that I can drag my mouse across and set a progress percentage. So here you can see it's gonna set the progress to 30% for this task, or I can move a little further and set it to 40%, 50%. So if I'm 50% done with this task, I can mark that progress. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is the description. So the description is pretty self-explanatory for the most part. So let's say this task is prepare, oops, prepare the papers for the filing period. Okay, so that's easy enough. That's a description and we can add, you know, different things down here, bullet points, point one, point two, etc. But let's say this task actually has a checklist involved with it. So as part of preparing the papers for the filing, we have a couple different things that we need to go through. If that's the, if that's the case, we can hit this checklist box. Now this creates everything that you've entered in the description already into a checklist. Now, our key point here is that this is not quite the same as subtasks in TickTick. -tick. This is a different functionality called a checklist within a description. 
So I'm going to take this task, copy it, put it back in the description, prepare the papers for the filing, and then I'm going to take this blank checklist task and hit the delete icon. So now I have a description, prepare the papers for the filing, and two checklist tasks, point one and point two. The next few functionalities I'm going to show you are found down here with the three dots, and the icon is titled More. Now there's a lot of powerful functionality within this menu, and I'm not going to go over all of it today, but I will touch on a few things. So the first thing I want to touch on is tags. So if you hit the tags icon, it allows you to input a tag on this task. So we can call this office, for example, or we can tag it filings. So now it's tagged with two tags, filings and office, and we'll hit the save button. We'll see those show up. So the other functionality I want to show you from this menu is the upload attachment button. So let's say you have a document or any other file that you want to attach to this task. You can click that button, find the document, and attach it directly to the task. Now you'll see it show up right here and anytime you want to access that document, just click on it within the task. And the final piece of functionality from that menu that I want to show you is the delete functionality. And I won't click on it right now because I want to keep this task. Uh, but if you happen to create a task by accident, you can also delete it from that menu. Okay, so let's say we've made some progress on this task and we want to add a comment in order to remind ourselves in the future of where we're actually at in the task. So if you hit the icon that's next to the more icon, it allows you to write a comment. So let's say finished point one, need to start on point two. And if I hit the enter button, you can see that comment shows up. It's got my name. It will have a timestamp on it. And now when I come in, I can see the comments on this task as well. And since we've finished point one, let's go check it off from our checklist tasks. And now we can see that it's checked and all that's left is point number two. Okay, so the final thing that I wanna show you as far as tasks is down here, you see the inbox. And if I hover over it, it says move to. So if I click on this, this would allow us to move to a different list. Now, right now, I don't have any other lists in my tick tick. But if I did, it would allow me to move this task to a different list out of my inbox. Okay, so that covers it for today. Uh, we've gone over how to populate your tasks. Um, so how to set the due dates, how to set your priorities, how to uh, enter checklist tasks, how to upload attachments and add tags to your tasks, and also how to add comments. All right, everybody, have a good one.